Hello Virgo, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. Happy Saturday. Um, I feel good as hell today, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I feel good. I know my setup is different. I wanted to do my readings out here in my living room. Where my, well, <laughs> in my kitchen where my island is. <laughs> so that's you know that's where i'm at today so hopefully the setup is not too bothersome <laughs> okay but i really wanted to be out here today i didn't feel like sitting in my room so let's see guys let's tap in so the new moon is coming up um on uh, what monday yeah on the 20th so i hope you guys are ready for this new moon <laughs> okay um some of you guys could have just done some releasing letting go of people places and things in preparation for this new moon so um yeah let's see what's coming in for you guys virgo let's see what's, let's tap into your energy let's tap in all right virgo sun moon rising venus and north node or anybody got it to watch this video you're welcome here as well but just be sure to flip and switch the roles guys um and just take what resonates leave what doesn't fit cross watches you're welcome here too hello guys um so let's see let's tap in to virgo's energy Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, please return any spell work, any dark magic that was sent to harm the collective and their loved ones and me and my loved ones. Please return it back to the sender. Why the hell did my camera just get so dark like that? Did it change on y'all's end or it's just mine? I don't like that. But anywho, <laughs> let's see. Maybe because I'm in front of so much light. Okay, yeah. We're not doing that let's see okay um all right so what well, in shit that's too bright i don't know but anywho guys so let's let's see for virgo spirit sun moon rising venus north node let's see let's tap in what does virgo need to hear and know <laughs> so at this time what does Virgo need to hear and know in preparation for this new moon? What is this? Because we're in the new moon energy and we're in the shadow period of it. Okay, so let's see. For Virgo spirit. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, <laughs> the judgment. Renewal, number 20. So an awakening here is happening, okay? This could be a time of like reflection, doing some evaluation, making decisions that you're needing to make to move forward here, um, Virgo. Um, you could be weighing your options about something, but I feel like you have your, you, you have your mind made up here. Um, you could be just clearing out. I'm hearing karmic shit from your past life, okay? You could be going through a deep transformation, a deep renewal i feel like there's a test here for you virgo okay yeah your your spirit guides and your angels i feel like are proud of you yeah page of wands okay for some of you there could be somebody from your past that's wanting to return or come back to you um uh, maybe uh, there's a energy of like ha being able to have a second chance okay in something yeah a partnership two of wands yeah three of cups <laughs> okay yeah so um, this could also be a spark of creativity, a spark of inspiration, feeling motivated again, um, a new beginning in a project or a career. But I feel like you have good news that could be coming into you, Virgo. So let's let's keep going. Let's see. Um, definitely, you could have just learned a karmic lesson, though. I'm getting that for sure. You, it looks like you passed the test. So let's see <laughs> what else for Virgo or you're going to be. Some of you, that, that energy is already, yeah, the Empress. Yeah, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. So Taurus, Libra here. We have Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag with the judgment. So yeah, the Empress, there is something new being birthed right on time, ain't it? <laughs> right on time. Somebody could be the age 23, 20. Someone could have a three-year-old. So yeah, there's like, there's like abundance coming in for you, um, Virgo. Um, you are definitely birthing something new. Some of you guys could be pregnant here. Okay, congrats if you are. But I definitely see, you know, if it's not a pregnancy, it's definitely a birth of something new here. I feel like you've graduated. I feel like you were already the empress, but you graduated to, I don't know. It's like you leveled up here. You leveled up. 
So now would be a good time, Virgo, I feel like, to nurture yourself, okay? Because you could could have just went through something or you could still be going through it. You could still be feeling the effects of it. So I feel just nurture yourself um, right now. And I feel like maybe just focus on your work, focus on whatever you're trying to create for yourself, okay? Because um, I feel like it's definitely going to be a good look for you. What else? For Virgo. Okay, five of wands, yeah. There's that argument, that fight. Okay, conflict. What I, you know what I was saying about you going through something? Mm-hmm. So there could be some competition around you. I'm getting people maybe trying to distract you, trying to keep you trapped or stuck. Okay, someone here could have a Leo Saturn. But um, yeah, <laughs> somebody is really trying to get on your nerves here, Virgo. All right, this is what it looks like. So let's see, let's keep going. We ain't got time for that, right? So there could be a fight, an argument, some kind of like conflict here that's happening. But I feel like Spirit is telling you with the Empress to stay calm. Um quote unquote, nurture the situation. Don't retaliate is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, try to control your anger. <laughs> try to control your anger. Okay. Let's see what else. <clears throat> okay. King of Cups. So Scorpio energy. So you could be fighting. Yeah. Transformation. Yeah. Eight of Cups. So you could be walking away from a Scorpio. Okay, or you just having some kind of like fallout with this person. <clears throat> I feel like emotions are running high here in, in the situation. I feel like there's also this person here doesn't really understand you. I, I, I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting like these messages intuitively. There's somebody here that doesn't understand you or there's something going on with like communication between you and somebody. There could be something getting in the way, too, of you and um, someone else that has feelings for you. But we're going to see. Because the King of Water is somebody that's very nurturing as well as, like, the Empress. They're very compassionate. They are usually very understanding, very loyal, kind-hearted. Okay. Um, this could, the King of Cups could also be a spirit guide. So your ancestors or your spirit guides and your angels are definitely surrounding you, especially with the judgment. Okay, at this time. I feel like you are very empathetic here, Virgo. You understand people on a very deep level, okay? So you you know how to handle certain situations better than most would know how to handle these kind of fallouts or whatever this happened here. <laughs> 747 on the timer. All right, but let, let's keep going, Virgo. Okay, Knight of Water, which is the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords, yeah. See, okay, yeah, the devil. You guys could be seeing, um, not you could be seeing, yeah, well, you could be seeing 555. Five, five. Um, someone here could be an Aquarius, Venus, Pisces. Okay, yeah, so so there's like, um, I feel like there's a lot of being humbled here. So Virgo, you could have just gotten humbled <laughs> in the situation. Okay, maybe somebody here was trying to play mind games with you. I feel like what's being shown to you is somebody's behavior, their mind games, their manipulation. They could be a bit of like trying to intimidate you or they can be a bully here. But this person was trying to get over on you, it looks like, and, and some, you know, or something. Yeah, Spirit is watching you to see how you're going to handle a situation. And I feel like once you pass this test, you're going to graduate here. I really do feel like that. The Knight of Cups, though, this could be a new romantic offer coming in for you, Virgo. Okay, somebody that's very charming, um, that wants to, like, wine and dine you, maybe take you out, some type of romantic offer here. So let's see. But I feel like before this comes in, there's something that you have to do. Complete a cycle. What else? Yeah, Three of Cups. So yeah, family, friends could be getting in the way of something here with the Three of Cups. Someone could have a Cancer Mercury. Some of y'all could definitely be reuniting with someone here that you're in conflict with. Um, or somebody wants to reunite with you. But there could be other people in the way here is what I'm getting. Okay, because that Five of Wands and that Five of Swords. There are a lot of changes here. But 
But I feel like in this situation here, really follow your heart. Okay, listen to your inner voice, whatever this may be that's going on. But the Three of Cups talks about a reunion, a celebration of some sort. Some of you guys could just be being celebrated for what you do, whatever you do for work. And there's people around you that are mad about something. Or like I said, somebody wants to reunite with you, but <laughs> there, these, there's people in the way. But let's see. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Seven of Cups, bottom of the deck. Someone could have a Taurus, Saturn, a um, Scorpio, Venus. Okay. So there could be somebody here that really wants to invest in you. I feel like you're evaluating someone here. Or you're going to be evaluating something, assessing something. We have two cards of assessment. Yeah, this five of swords says reassessment. So this one is like, yeah. I feel like you're trying you're seeing where you want to put your time, your effort, your energy into. Um I feel like you want you to um also could want more of like a if you're connecting to somebody, or even if you're not, I feel like there's somebody that's gonna come in that's gonna emotionally fulfill you. Yeah, here's the five of wands again. The knight of swords, yeah. This is drama going on here. <clears throat> okay. But let's just see. And I feel like somebody's going to come in to fulfill your wishes, too, though. I really do. Yeah, the temperance. Violence. Stay patient. All right. Don't 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 let your anger, yeah. Your emperor, Aries. Don't let your anger get the best of you. Stay grounded. All right. What's renewal here for Virgie Berg? What's renewal here? Why is, why is renewal here? Okay, the strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So yeah, this is something, whatever the situation is, I feel like you really need to stay disciplined, stay grounded. Um, maybe somebody could be gathering the strength to come towards you and say something, but I feel like this is more of an action that you're taking in your own life, okay? Um, you're really trying to stay grounded, okay? And just stay tempered, okay? Have control. Um, there could be a lesson here about your ego, your pride, all right? Um, having self-awareness as well, not doubting your intuition. Yeah, this is not going to work. <laughs> okay, spirit is spirit is showing you something here about something about your ways or something about someone else's ways. Um, this is just I'm getting more. I'm getting like learning from your mistakes. Okay, there there could be something here, a choice that was made or something like that, and I feel like you're learning from it. <laughs> Just period. I feel like now, yeah, you're surrendering. Okay, there's a lot of changes here. You could be walking away from somebody that you really it's been a it's been a hard task to do that. It's been hard. Yeah, it's 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 inevitable though. With the tower in reverse. It's inevitable. Yeah. <laughs> somebody here could be provoking you. All right, I feel like somebody's like provoking you. I really do. Somebody's like looking for a war, just picking with you, doing the most because you're, yeah, seven of swords walking away and because you're not paying them any mind here. Yeah, the devil. Yeah. I feel like you're over that shit. So let's see. <laughs> so you're being called to have strength through whatever this process is. <clears throat> What's the empress? Oh, damn. The card done flew all the way over here, child. I hope they don't do that the whole time. <laughs> I'm doing these readings. Okay, so, okay, yeah. So, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is definitely a karmic lesson. A lesson that needed to be learned in order for you to move forward. Yep, Eight of Wands. 14, 14 on the timer. So, yeah, this, this could also be like communication coming in. But there's a lot of sudden, fast changes that is happening here. All for your highest good here, Virgo. And I feel like you know that you're very smart. <laughs> Virgos are, tend to be very, very smart, right? So you know that there's a change here for the better. You know that you're somewhere where you probably don't need to be or you're doing something that you don't really need to be doing or want to do. So you're changing it, right? And there could be some backlash from that, um, some resistance. And okay, that's fine. <clears throat> like, I, don't, I don't know. But there is, I feel like there's good fortune, good luck coming in for you here, Virgo. 
for sure. So things are changing and turning in your favor. Um, whatever you're working on, whatever you're getting ready to create is definitely going to be um, abundant as well. So if you think about, if you're thinking about working on something, I feel like you should go ahead and do it. What else? Um, something is faded. There's like faded events here happening. Destiny is taking place here in a, and you know, you're going towards your soul's purpose. And I feel like you know that, to be honest, you're, you're a divine feminine. And so I feel like you know what's going on here. You have a great understanding of life. All right, what's the five of wands? Yep, two of wands, a choice. So we can have Aries, Venus. We have Sagittarius here with the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, two of cups. This could be about love, a partnership, a relationship. Um, it doesn't have to be love, but it could be. So yeah, somebody here is like fighting you. They're trying to stop you from moving forward, moving on. They're trying to give you a hard time here. But I feel like you're you're ready to plan for your future. You're making a decision to move forward. Okay. Um, there could be a fight coming in. Some of y'all are already in the midst of this or you already have dealt with it. <laughs> but there is going to be some resistance here. Some of you guys could even be trying to travel or move. But there is some kind of like partnership coming in. I feel like more, I feel like better partnerships, better friends, better lovers, suitors to whatever. I feel like that's, that's what's coming in for you. But you just have to get out of this situation. And I feel like once you do, you, you're good. You're definitely good. Yeah, I just saw the high priestess in reverse, so there could be like doubt here. Yeah, you've made a decision here to move on, move forward. There's new opportunities definitely coming in for you. It's the king of cups. The hangman, yeah. Pisces energy. So definitely your intuition is very strong right now. So listen to the guidance. Yep, six of cups. Y'all know what's going on. Don't try to act like y'all don't know what's going on because y'all do. <laughs> I know y'all do. Yeah, six of cups. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody here has Scorpio heavily in their chart. Okay, maybe Pisces too. But yeah, the hangman. So there's like a sudden realization. Um... There could be somebody in your life that's holding on to you or holding you back. And I feel like you have to make a hard decision when it comes down to releasing somebody. Okay, because you're having an awakening. Your third eye, your crown chakra, is everything is heightened right now. So I feel like you're being called to do something. You're going to have to make a sacrifice. Let something go. Because whatever whatever's going on here is, is stagnant. It's like not moving. And I feel like you know where you're being guided. What's What's the hangman right here? Seven of Wands, yeah, in reverse. It's time to surrender. <laughs> it's really time to surrender something. So I feel like that's what you're doing here. This could be surrendering to your feelings, your emotions, being more vulnerable. Maybe somebody wants to come in to be more vulnerable with you. Um, yeah, someone could have a Leo Mars here. So yeah, this is like, um, I feel like someone is realizing that they should have stood up for themselves at first or something like that. They should have defended them themselves you know, um, really stand their corner and fight their corner here. Stand up for what they believe in. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like, too, somebody is, like, burnt out. This could be someone's feelings for you, Virgo. Someone has really strong feelings for you. They ass is burnt out, honey. They can't hold it in no more. Yeah, here they ass come. Look, the lovers <laughs> with the three of wands in reverse, they coming back because they can't, they can't hold it in anymore. Yeah, the moon and the emperor. Somebody knows that there's something deeper here between you two. They know this, but before that happens, there's a loss. 1919 on the timer. I feel like there's been a lot of delays here in the situation too, though. Yeah, but they, damn. Whoever that King of Cups is right there, whether it's you or somebody, yeah, look at this Five of Swords. Yeah. Whoever that King of Cups is right here, they ass is burnt out. They can't hold their feelings in anymore. I feel like somebody feels really vulnerable. They want to invest. Seven of Pentacles. They they like, hold up. I know, you know, something don't feel right. Something is off or this is you, you know. But let's see. What's the Five of Swords? Yeah. 
seven wow seven of pentacles again so you guys could definitely be seeing seven 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 so yes that's why i love using two tarot decks y'all i ain't gonna lie it's so much confirmation everything just makes so much sense <laughs> you know like i love it but yeah so we have um seven of pentacles so yeah you are reassessing this is exactly what you're doing here because you know that there's something better here for you on the horizon. You could definitely be looking at where you're investing your finances. Your finances are could be, you know, what's kind of like important to you right now, Virgo. Your work, how you make your money or whatever the case may be. So you're definitely looking at this here. You're, I feel like you're seeing somebody's ratchet ass behavior though, to be honest. Somebody's going to show their true colors here. And you're going to realize you made a mistake or somebody is or something like that. What's, what's the seven of pentacles with this five of swords? The seven of pentacles with the five of swords. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, it's about it's about where your heart is here. Wherever your heart is, I feel like that's exactly where you're going. Okay, definitely looking at a connection, a relationship. Maybe you're in one or you were recently in one or something like that. But I feel like you know where you want to be at. Something definitely about a partnership. Someone could have made a mistake about a partnership here. And I feel like you're awakening to what you need to do now to get yourself out of something. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's exactly what you're doing here. All right, yeah. Hmm. So let's see. Um, Somebody is trying to win something at all costs. You can have people around you that really want you. Virgo, they're fighting over you and shit like that. But I feel like you only want one person. <laughs> you do. So, okay. There could be... But, yeah, there could be, like, people around you. Friends and shit like that. That's just... They don't want to see you and somebody together. <laughs> just period. Excuse me. So, what's the Knight of Cups? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you could be guarded. You could be a bit guarded towards someone here. This Knight, whoever this Knight of Cups is, you could be a bit guarded. I feel like you you've also had to make um balance your head and your heart, right? Because your your heart is somewhere. I really feel like you have emotions or feelings somewhere. But there needs to be a cutoff here. Somebody that you're dating, you could be cutting off for some of you with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you have to be very strict, very stern with somebody, set clear boundaries, like really tell them about themselves. I feel like somebody here doesn't like to be told about themselves. Someone's ego is big or something like that. I really feel like that. Okay, their ego is big. There could be some communication coming in from this person. Or this is you communicating with them something, but... Yeah, I feel like you have to follow your heart and yeah, and cut something off just for sure. Because but somebody is coming towards you knowing that you're in this energy that they know that they that you're not playing with them. <laughs> Whoever this Knight of Cups is, they know that you are not playing with them. Just period. You have your sword up. It's either going to be an honest conversation or you're going to get the fuck on. Yeah, because you're the Empress right here. The Empress right here. Somebody knows how to treat you now is what it looks like. They know that you're not to be fucked with. Yeah, so now they coming in with all this violence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and there's this third party energy. That's, you know, what I was getting. The devil with the three of cups. Yeah, maybe too much party and drinking and, you know, too much of a, like, false friend group here. Somebody has a group of friends that are false. But, yeah, they know that you're not playing. And they know that you're going to be asking questions here. Yeah, you're you're not you're you're very much so the Empress, but you're you're the Queen of Swords too, and you're very discerning. So I feel like you're gonna have questions for this person when they bring their ass back. Because I feel like somebody's definitely coming back. <clears throat> What's the three of cups? Queen of Wands, yeah. Okay, it could be an Aries here. Let me see. Who's this Queen of Wands? Because I'm getting the energy off their ass. This could be the person that's starting conflict. Who's the Queen of Wands? Y'all. You know what? These cards, baby. Okay, yeah. So the Eight of Swords. So 
someone could have a gemini jupiter here so yeah this is you freeing yourself of whatever entrapment this was whatever group this was or whatever kind of friendship this was with this person i feel like you found the confidence to free yourself from someone here this could have been for some of you it could have been an abusive relationship a lot of mental maybe physical abuse too for some of you that's not for everybody but the eight of swords here is you're you don't feel restricted anymore you're over this energy you're over this person this is somebody you had to really find the confidence to release yourself from and like i say you're graduating you've definitely leveled up because i'm, I'm hearing something about self-sabotage so you can have some self-sabotaging ways okay i feel like everybody does in a sense <clears throat> I feel like you're also being congratulated for your hard work here. I feel like you feel enthused. You feel, I don't know, something about you being passionate as well. I feel like you're very passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. And this is why you're gaining like success in, in victory or celebrating because you're a very passionate person. You stand your ground and you're very confident. But I feel like you're very fired up to do something and that's to free yourself. And I feel like you have, yeah, with the Ace of Wands, it's passion, fertility. Mm -hmm. But yeah, somebody is free, honey. And somebody is free, you or your person. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. Yeah, here come that communication. Yep, the Fool could be an Aquarius. Someone could have a Sag Mercury. Yeah, something is taking off really quick. I feel like you've made a really smart choice, a really good investment in something. Okay, definitely, for some of you, I'm getting like travel. Somebody could be like traveling towards you, but look at the fool. Like, and we're about to like go into a new moon. So this is right on time here. The cards are aligning perfectly for you, Virgo. There's definitely a new beginning coming in. For sure, a sudden shift or a sudden change or something's going to all of a sudden hit you intuitively about um, <clears throat> things that you need to change and shift and the things that you are investing in. Okay, you're definitely going to be doing some evaluation here, moving some things around, getting some things out the way. Okay, yeah, I just saw a reunion. Okay, so let's see. So expect, it looks like, expect communication here or something in your career to take off pretty quickly too. Okay, you could be feeling more inspired, <clears throat> wanting to make sudden, sudden changes with your career, maybe leaving one and going to another, maybe starting a business here. There could be some money coming in, but I feel like you're you're reaping harvest um, for your investments that you've, you've made, especially within yourself. Yeah, so let's see. Clarity for Virgo. Okay, yeah, renewal spark. Yeah, so you feel you feel inspired again right over the renewal card. <laughs> okay, yeah, spring. Yep, it's getting ready to be spring. So you're ready to like, you're really, really just, you're going to invest in what brings you profit, right? I feel like you're not going to be doing more than you need to, right? So if you feel burdened or stressed or whatever, you're letting that shit go. All right, and that's that's what's preferred. Yeah, here go party external, so third party, because they is they is here with a raggedy ass. Yep, Aries, Leo, sad. This is Aries. This is Aries. All right, so what? Um, so renewal. So yeah, spark. <clears throat> Whatever this, I feel like it's about a relationship. But some of y'all could be in one and there's like, you know now for sure that you have to leave that one. So there could be definitely a third party for sure. I'm seeing it. What's the, what's the Empress? Well, yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune right here. North No, yeah, purpose. I'm telling you, whatever you're working on right here, you need stability to do it. You need to be balanced. You need your energy, your mental, everything, your spiritual, obviously, your sp especially if you're a divine feminine, you could do some kind of like spiritual work or something, but you need to be balanced for whatever it is that you got going on. You're definitely going towards your North Node, your purpose, whatever you're meant to do. You're, yeah, it's time to release and purge and just let it go and just let it go because there's something big coming in for you. There's going to be a chance, I feel like, to bring harmony into a situation. What else? G 
guilt and sabotages in reverse. So I feel like whoever this is that's coming in for this partnership, this person is not sabotaging this opportunity with you or you're not sabotaging something anymore because I feel like you have the clarity that you need after reassessing. So this person here, <clears throat> there's like healing here where somebody doesn't feel guilty for walking away from something anymore. It's like, you know, for sure that this is the right thing to do. Yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah, somebody could be trying to like reel you back in too though somebody here is like planning and strategizing an argument <laughs> to keep you stuck and i feel like you're steady moving forward but somebody's definitely giving you resistance or not wanting to leave or get the fuck on about their business what else okay deception temptation yeah, this person here, whoever this King of Cups is, could have been very deceptive to you, um, toward you in the past, okay? Um, they could be being tempted to do something. This person, <clears throat> for some of you, this person didn't take up for you in the past. What's this deception? They were not standing up for the connection or standing up for you or knowing that they had feelings for you or whatever. Yeah, shadow side, moon, the dark night. Okay, so this person has been going through some shit. Okay, they've been going through something, a dark night of the soul. Whoever this King of Cups is. Yeah, you, you've seen the worst in somebody already. <laughs> Their shadow side probably didn't, you know, didn't spook the fuck out of you. You're like, I don't know about this person. All right, but whoever this is, they do have a shadow side to them. Obviously, everybody does, right? I didn't even mean to say that. <laughs> I was meant to say something else, but that's what came out because I'm staring at the card. But... Yeah, this person is going through a dark night of the soul. They see something very clear. Assistance and spirit guides. I told you your spirit guides is here. For some of you, this is your spirit guide. You could be lying to yourself about something or this is that person. And I feel like you know that you need to surrender, whatever this may be. But yeah, so there's assistance here. There's, your spirit team is with you. Your spirit team is with you, hoping to guide you through a situation. For sure, that's what I feel. And they're bringing you awareness through your intuition. So you need to, you know, look at the signs, the symbols, pay attention to your angel numbers. Yeah, third eye clarity. I can't make it up. Yeah, receive, open, and that's receiving messages. Receive the messages that are given to you and move forward. Don't doubt your intuition. You know what's best for you. And I feel like it's hard because you don't want to, you don't want any confrontation. You don't want to fight, but you're going to get some kind of like resistance. Okay, that's just what it is. When you choose yourself and stop choosing others over yourself, they get mad. So we have distance, retreat, or timeout. Yeah. So this could be somebody you're retreating from. You took a timeout from. Or oh, your ass, you putting them in timeout. <laughs> or something like that. But I feel like you, you and somebody are separated. Yeah, you're cutting somebody off. For some of you, you were dating somebody here and you're cutting the, them off. Let's see, what else for distance, retreat, or time out? Because I feel like you don't want to be near somebody. You don't... Comfort zone, yes, yeah, south node. Child, right under north node. <laughs> Integration and union. Yeah, so for some of you guys, you're on a very special twin flame journey. Or this is you coming into union with yourself. So there, there, there was a lesson here. Okay, you this whatever this is that you're going through, you have to get out of your comfort zone to, to pass this test. All right, yeah, here's nurture and compassion. Yeah, something here was very karmic, and I feel like that shit is over. So you've passed the test, Virgo. You really have passed the test. Like, I don't... And there's somebody from your past. Yeah, now we have the Queen of Cups, child, and the Wheel. Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever this King of Cups is your person. And they're your person, Virgo. I just feel like they and you. That's why I feel like this is a twin flame connection. You're learning something just like they are. <clears throat> you could have taught this person something as well. You could be some kind of prophet or a leader. The Queen of Swords is usually somebody that could that's very like intelligent. You guys are very discerning, the Queen of Swords, okay? If that's you, right? So you told this person something. <laughs> And it's, it's playing out and they see that. They're realizing something. It's like, it's like the dots are connecting back to you here. Mm-hmm. 
self-worth yep expectations yeah you there's something here you you graduated virgo when it comes down to your self-worth your self-esteem here um i feel like in your life you want emotional fulfillment you want passion i feel like you want passion you want a real chemistry you want a natural flowing relationship and I feel like it's taking you confidence. I feel like you learn your lessons through your relationships here. <laughs> like, I don't know. You can have eighth house placements a lot or somewhere in your chart if you know what your chart consists of or whatever. Yeah, but I feel like you feel very driven to move forward. Let's see. What's self-worth expectations? Yeah. So don't lower your standards is what I'm getting to. I mean, obviously that can't be too high, but don't lower your standards and don't settle for anything. If you feel like you're settling, then you probably are. Yep, Venus. Somebody could have an Aries Venus, honey. <laughs> okay. Someone could have an Aries Venus. Yeah, Venus and offer. So something about love here. Yeah, something about your love life. I can't make it up. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep, lack and doubts. Fate, detours, divine intervention. Yeah, trust, divine timing. Yeah, so the divine has stepped in to teach you something about your self-worth. Yeah, and, and your person. Y'all are going through the same thing, maybe just in different dynamics, obviously, right? Since y'all are separated in preparation for a union. And I feel like you're liberating yourself with something. Yep, the sun, strength and empowerment. Strong Leo energy too. Leo, Scorpio, strong. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> so things are being illuminated here. You feel more empowered. You feel more enthused. You feel happy about moving forward, moving on. Yeah, because this was karma says karma, balance, and justice. So now things could be balanced out for you. Yeah, you were experiencing some kind of like disharmony with someone that kept triggering you. And they kept triggering you for a reason because obviously everybody that you meet are your mirrors, okay? This person here, whatever you went through just now or whatever the case, maybe you and your person, this taught you really how to love yourself. And set intentions, set boundaries. Really, you know, you have to know yourself first before you can move forward to anybody else or have a nice relationship. So I feel like that's what this is teaching you. 9 11 on the clock. You guys could be seeing that number. So maybe go look it up. All right. <clears throat> maybe in reference to this reading or whatever you have on your mind right now, look it up in reference to that. Okay. That's what I do to get my answers. So let's pull a, uh, the Sacred Self Oracle. Let's pull a few cards here. And then we're going to close out. Yeah, so I'm very proud of you, Virgo. It looks like you've, you've done the work, honey. All right, so we have flow like water moving down a gentle river right now. There is nothing you must do and nothing that you are being asked to change in your life. Relax, let go, and be more flexible in your way of thinking and being. Okay, you could be dealing with a water sign or this is this person. That's a water sign. Or you could just have water in your chart. Well, didn't I just say the same thing, honey? I don't know what's going on with my communication. <laughs> so I feel like whenever this is passed, because clearly there's something that you do need to change. I just feel like this is the aftermath. So you guys could be like changing something. You could have did it already. It's over with. It's done. So now all you need to do is just stay in the flow, move forward, keep your emotions balanced. You know, maybe take a vacation. I see pool water here. So maybe some of y'all need to go somewhere hot. It is still cold outside. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. I mean, because you don't have any control over whatever these events are. So you don't have no choice but to flow and relax and just, you know, especially if you already know what's up, if you already know what's going on in your life, all you can do is really surrender and just go with the flow but it says you are meant to blossom at this stage in your life and you will find that you'll be receiving more attention recognition and praise for a job well done enjoy this moment you are that's exactly what you are going to get here because you pass some kind of test whether it be with your work um setting boundaries with people in your family or whatever or spirit is just proud of you here the universe is heavily watching whoever this divine feminine is they're watching over you heavily and they're proud of you yeah because you take your lessons here um, and you integrate them in your life at moving forward. You know, you don't ignore your lessons and your, your calling here and what you need to do. So that's what divine feminists do usually. 
So it says it's time to disconnect from external noise. Yeah, distracting you from the truth of your intuition, which may be clouded at this time. Go within and trust your inner voice. Yeah, can't make it up. Cannot make it up, honey. Yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of emotions here because there's cups here. So you have that your emotions are tied to something. Yeah. And there's a lot of like <clears throat> mental confusion. All right, there's a few swords here, swords. What else? There's been a confusion here. Yeah, whoever you were with or whatever offer this was that came in for you was distracting you from something that you were supposed to be doing, but I really wouldn't look at it as a distraction. I feel like that's just karma, you clearing out karma uh, because that's where you are at in your journey. That's a lesson for you to learn in your journey, your path. Okay, so yeah, it threw you off for a minute, but I feel like you're getting back on track. That's all that matters. <laughs> Everybody has lessons to learn. So what else? And then we have, it's time for you to be uniquely and proudly and proud of yourself, regardless of any perceived societal standards. Yeah, don't try to squeeze yourself into a box that doesn't fit your outline. Be you. Yeah. Yep. I feel like somebody is fighting against a lot of people too that want them to do certain shit. Somebody is, is having to be, it could be an Aquarius here. You have Aquarius in your chart. I know I have an Aquarius Saturn. <laughs> okay, y'all know what's going on with the Aquarius Saturn or with astrology right now. Um, And I'm 29, so I'm about to go into my first Saturn return. <laughs> All right, so pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. <laughs> it already started, honey. It already started, but yeah, so whoever this person is, though, they have to stand their ground. They have to be liberated from who are, yeah, their family, and friends and people that are obsessed with their image, people are that are jealous, envious, or insecure is what I'm getting. Um, these people could be blocking this person's, um, their chakras and their intuition. It's like, there's too many maybe opinions here or something like that, but somebody has been having a hard time following their inner voice and now they're finally moving forward. Yeah, the judgment right here, the chariot. Yeah. And a lot of people are gonna be in despair and okay, it just, it is what it is. Feel like there's a lack of inspiration where you're at okay whether it be a relationship a thing a place it's just like you don't you you're feeling that lack and that's not fair for you all right it's not fair for you so oh shit okay kind of knew that was going to happen on this counter okay this is what we're going to do okay voila so this one says, your psychic abilities are evolving and awakening. You may experience visions, vivid dreams, or hear audible messages from spirit. You are ready for this and let go of fear. Yeah, it could be fear. It could be fear. I just posted something on my Twitter. I think I'm gonna post it on my community tab too about people pleasing, <laughs> right? Some shit that I'm still healing from. So that could be a certain thing for you guys too, but this was your reading virgo i hope this helped you i hope this resonated like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell make sure you guys press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings when i post and i will talk to you guys later bye virgo